when Terrence Cooper, number seven, number 20, Morrell Booker, the deep man for the Hilltoppers of WKU, along with Tyler Watts and Barry Cross, I'm Chris Stewart. Glad you're with us as we're underway from the capstone. Cooper from the three, across the 20. Keeps his feet as he gets across the 25. That came after he set an Alabama record for punt return yardage in a single game. And once more, he did that in only one half of football. But it will be Jones to field at the 27. Julio trying to break the tackle, does so. Keeps his feet before finally being pushed down as he gets to the 37-yard line. Marquise Mays to the bottom of your picture for Alabama. One of three wideouts, make it four for Alabama. B.J. Scott in the slot near side. Wilson looking to his right, though, completes it to Jones, first down. Mike McCoy in the slot. Julio Jones to the near side to give up the middle of coffee. Running room inside the 45, down to the 44-yard line of the Hilltoppers. Hurry up look from Alabama, trying to quicken the pace as they go on the toss sweep to Coffee, trying to get to the corner. He's got a first down and more near the 40-yard line, and Alabama with back-to-back -back first downs. Travis McCall doing another nice job from the tight end position. He's got a touchdown for Alabama as well. Tide will throw on first down across the middle. Walker, a nice catch in traffic. That one was well covered, but a big target there. Walker has his ninth grab of the year. That's McCall shifting as they'll give it to Ingram. Ingram working his way behind that offensive line. Another first down for the Crimson Tide as we check in with Barry Krause. Third and 10 Alabama. Ingram the lone setback with now four wideouts to choose from. Wilson across the middle. He's got his man, Stover, inside the 10. First down, Alabama. Nikita Stover, Alabama on its first series, marching right down the field against the Hilltoppers. The give to Ingram. Not much there. Bounces it outside, and he will score. Touchdown, Alabama. Mark Ingram on the eight-yard touchdown run. And Alabama on the board first. In three more. Darrell Harris, Courtney Upshaw, and Corey Smith did so a week ago. We've got a ball on the turf, and Alabama's coming away with it. Guess who? Big number 62, Terrence Cody. Just over the top of your picture. The give, Hawkins. Running room inside the 10, following great blocking right up the middle. And they'll bring him down after an eight-yard pickup. He's to the bottom of your screen with Stover up top. Call to the lone setback. He'll get the call, and he will fall forward. Got a couple on the play, but not a whole lot more than that. So with the placement right at the 12-yard line, a 22-yard attempt from Tiffin, who on the year is four of five. His only miss coming from 52 yards away. Snap a little high. The hold is good. The kick is right through, and Alabama has added to its lead. When Tyrone Willingham was fired, he transferred to Bowling Green. Inside handoff and some running room across the 20-yard line for Tyrell Hayden, the 5'10 junior. Great story on Rashad today in Tuscaloosa News as the big fella moves. A lot of people stopped, but the play was not dead. SEC crew today. Offside, 62 on the defense, penalty five yards, first down. It was Greenwood all the way who was able to force the pressure. And there's Javier Arenas making two men miss. Another flags everywhere before and after the kick. Javi won't go down, but anybody that's got laundry, throw it on the field right now. Not enough men on the line of scrimmage. That penalty declined. Illegal block in the back during the return on the receiving team. Penalty will be 15 yards from the spot of the foul. First down. Play action. Wilson stepping up in the pocket. Looking deep, looking for Jones. He'll make the grab, and he's got it near the 20 yard line. That grab by Jones, his second, covering 45 yards total today. As the give to Ingram changes directions. First time by choice, the second time he had no vote in the matter. Has a power set behind him. The give to Ingram. He follows the blocking. 
stays on his feet, gets to the five-yard line, and boy, the fans love to see him go in the air. First to go, Alabama, from just outside the five. You see Bama dominating on the scoreboard, and in terms of first down, he gets some hesitation, then finds the end zone for a touchdown. Second touchdown rush of the day for Ingram, third of the year, and the Alabama offense looking like that when we saw in the Eastern time zone a couple of weeks ago. They started that last series with minus seven. They'll go with a little trickery on the reverse. That's Taylor trying to get to the corner, and Kareem Jackson bumps him out of bounds after a gain of about Dexter four. Dexter Taylor just underway, or about to be anyway, in the second quarter. Wolke rolling the pocket, unloading it. Beautiful throw and catch, and that will be the first first down for WKU. Dime package in, six DBs. Ali Sharif is that six DB as they'll throw underneath and set up a third down and short as Justin Woodall was in coverage. Selligent native, as you see, Javier Arenas, the deep man. Jeremy Moore set to punt. Low liner that goes out of bounds around the 20-yard line. They'll spot it at the 22, and that's where Alabama will start. Alabama 3-for-3 three three on its offensive series so far, and John Parker Wilson working from the shotgun and wants to go up top. He's got a man. It's Alexander. He's got another first down around midfield. With 6,206, he is just three shy at this moment, as you can see there. He'll swing it out. Alexander. He's got yardage, he's got a first down, and he's got the record for John Parker Wilson as well. I'm sure it'll be announced to the crowd here later. Coming all the all-time ready passer in Alabama history. Most importantly, the offense just looks sensational. The give up the middle and a lot of running room for Glenn Coffey. Really battling injuries throughout his career, but glad to see him in the slot at the top of the picture. Wilson swinging it out the far side. To break the tackle, he'll get near that first down marker. He made a critical block about two or three plays ago. That's a guy stepping up and making things happen. Sophomore from Homewood looking good. There's Terry Grant getting his first carry of the game, and he follows a wave of blockers inside the 10. Stover in the slot to the bottom of the picture. Quick pitch, Grant looking for room inside the five, looking for the pylon. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Alabama. With his first touchdown of the year in Alabama, pulling away early. Tiffin. Could have tired leg, perhaps. On his fifth kickoff of the half, fielded at the 15-yard line, getting across the 30, and now across the 45. Good running room for Bobby Rainey. They'll roll the pocket and complete the pass and getting the first down yardage. Down near the 40-yard line of Alabama was Darius Brooks. Good to see him healthy enough to get back in the game. Like everything else, favoring Alabama. Pressure coming. Unloading it. And an incomplete pass. Javier Arenas, who's fast as a return man. Intentional grounding. Number three on the offense. Passing right across the line of scrimmage. Lost it down. Moore, also a busy man, on the punt for the fourth time. You see his average so far. Jones and Arenas deep. A flag is down as Javi fields it after the run. As usual, finds running room, and he is tripped up as he nears the 30-yard line. Set to discuss this one. Not enough men. On the line of scrimmage on the kicking team. Five-yard penalty will be added on to the end of the run. First down. He is at right tackle. Wilson looking to throw. Deflected and picked off. Intercepted by Waters. And he will be brought down as he nears the 35-yard line. They'll look, they'll throw, and the catch is made, but shy of the first down. As Javier Arenas was there to wrap up Darius Brooks. Ryan Denny Stadium coming to its feet as Wolfe looks to throw. Swings it back, far side, got a man, catch made, rumbling near the end zone and scoring on the play. 
will be Tristan Jones. Great call that results in the first points of the night for the Hilltoppers and the first touchdown that the Alabama defense has surrendered this year. Veterans, though, the rest of the way as the give goes up the middle. Coffee looking for blocks down the field, finds running room. 40, 35, 30. He'll be knocked out of bounds, but not until he gets near the 20 yard line. And it ever actually did get him out of bounds, I don't believe. Ingram, the tailback, with McCall, the tight end, shifting to an H back slot. Ingram. Looking for running room, finds it inside the 15, keeps his feet as he gets inside the 10. Second and a yard. Ingram again. Drug down around the 7, but that is enough for the first down. Robert Dark, the defensive end, able to wrap him up. Jones and McCoy to the top of your picture. Coffee is the tailback. They'll look, they'll throw. Touchdown to Nick Walker. Wilson connected, and Walker with touchdown grab number two on the year, and Alabama leads it now 30-7. to seven. He'll roll and kick a line drive that Arenas will avoid. <laughs> Bobby wanted to short hop that one and scoot past everybody, but a smart play on his part to take a little more conservative when you lead it 31-7. First and ten from the 30. Wilson looking across the middle, dumps it off to McCoy, breaks a tackle. He'll be brought down after a gain of about eight. That will not stop the clock, so Bam will have to hurry to the line of scrimmage. He does a good job just dumping and getting what he can. Second and two, Wilson stepping up. will dump it off to the to McCoy. And Mike McCoy gets out of bounds. It's a pretty good read on the part of Wilson to realize where that line of scrimmage was. Need about 15, 20 yards. Blitz coming. Wilson avoids it. He'll run. Wow, a little escape. Makes one man miss it momentarily. Ball not loose, but they whistle it down shy of the 30-yard line. 47-yard try for Lee Tiffin. Right in the middle of the field. Snap and hold are good. The kick is nice. Tell you what, that half just ended on a downer after one heck of a job by Alabama for the first 30 minutes of this game. Hard to find a lot to be upset with when your team leads 31 to 7. A missed field goal, an interception, and a fourth down conversion. The only miscues is Barry has the coach. It would have been their senior seasons, but he and Greg Ryan wanted to be a part of this first year at college football's highest level for the Hilltoppers, and so they redshirted to be a part of it this year. I'm not sure this is exactly what they had in mind when they opted to come back for another season. From their own 38-yard line, they were five of six on scoring opportunities in the first half, and they pick up another five or six yards on first down, and McCoy in motion. But the give. Working his way across the 45, Terry Grant. Wilson keeping it himself, but nowhere to go. That's a nice play by Darvis McBride, the inside linebacker. John Parker Wilson tackled by Came down and made that hit. Wilson with time across the middle. McCoy wide open, first down, 35-yard line. Tries to break the tackle and stretches forward to the 32 of the Hilltoppers. Travis Waters finally able to bring him to the turf. Get up the middle. Grant inside the 20. He gets to the 17 yard line. There's some of that space we were talking about. He and Andre Smith on the left side. Very, very tough. Run the move. As he fights his way inside the 15 down to the 11 yard line. McCoy in the slot to the near side. Julio Jones joins him to the bottom of the picture. That's Graham to backfield. Wilson on play action. Third down and four. Threw it behind Mays and he still made the ground. It won't be enough for the first down, but it'll make the highlight reel. Now Tiffin on a try field goal for the third time. 
Fourth and a yard. This one from 25 yards out. Kick is up. It is good. 25-yard kick for transferring to the Western Kentucky University campus there in Bowling Green. Brooks in motion, but they will now pitch it to him on the ice. Tries to get to the corner, and he does. Gets eight, nine, maybe ten yards. Rainey once more lining up at quarterback on third and two. Working from the gun. Rainey will keep it himself. Trying to find running room, and he does. And that will move the chains once again. So from the 40 to go back with Volpe out of the shotgun. Senior will look to his right. but swing it out. That's a play by Alabama's veteran, Marquise Johnson. His first punt of the third quarter comes with 7.36 to play in this period. Low line drive off the side of his foot. And even though Alabama is going to get great field position, Tide fans boo. They want to see the ball in the hands of 28 as Drew Davis checks into the game to play left tackle for Alabama. Boswell still in at right tackle. Alabama rolls the pocket. First down. Down near the 42. And it would be a lengthy try into the win. So Bama will go for it on fourth and four. Wilson with time. Goes back to Mays. He's got the grab. He's got a first down. He will be knocked out of bounds inside the 15. He's the 13 yard line. And you love that. Second and 10 from outside the 12. Wilson, complete, Jones breaks the tackle, and zone touchdown. Julio Jones with his second touchdown grab of the season, and Alabama now leads it 40 to 7. It's Nick Saban, the staff, try to build some depth. Alabama's had very little love the last few seasons. Throw down field is caught as Winfell Graves making the grab across the 35-yard line. 30-yard touchdown strike. That's the only offensive touchdown the Bama defense has surrendered on the year. His connection with Graves again results in good yardage before Justin Woodall makes the stop. Second and eight. Swing it out again. Got a man. Catch his nose. Ball's not loose, but it falls out of bounds. Facing third and 11. A blitz coming. Roll the people. That's past it. He'll keep it himself. He'll get a block. He'll get a first down and more before he's bumped out of bounds. Rashad Johnson sending him to the boundary. Last time they were faced with fourth down and went forth, they scored a touchdown. It was about five yards further back than they are right now. Wolke looking, throwing, pass is picked off. Yes, it is. Bama football as Justin Woodall gets the interception. Florida native as McElroy will dump it off. Grant on third and long, trying to turn it up field, and he does. Does he stay in bounds? He does indeed. He's got a first down. I thought he might run out of real estate, Tyler, but a great job of staying inside the boundary and picking up the first down. They'll work on him on the Bama bench. Is up, Church. Is your lone setback. Play action. McElroy to throw. Steps up against pressure. The Byers is strike to Darius Hanks near midfield. The grab for Hanks, his first in an Alabama uniform. This, this is running the Alabama offense. Hand off, up Church. Up the gut. Inside the 45. We send it down to the sidelines. One of Bama's greatest football players, joined by perhaps the university's greatest golfer. I'm going to make a lot of games and a big difference in this team this year. Yeah, and a big part of it is Nick Saban. You've been playing some golf with him? Well, I did his golf tournament this summer here in, Tuc in Tuscaloosa, Nick's uh, kids, and uh, met Nick and Terry, got to know him, and uh, he's a class act. He said, ever since I won the U.S. Open, Coach Bryant would actually enter, you know, in invite me to be on the sideline. He said, man, I went all the way down to the goal line. I was there. I saw you stop him on the goal line. It was kind of funny because here's a great, obviously a great golfer, great, uh, you know, one of the most, most historic guys that ever played PGA Tour. Up Church, the lone setback. <laughs> McElroy will hand it off to number five, and he will get inside the 10-yard line. That's going to bring up third and about a yard. A big reason why Alabama has one of the top golf programs in America now as Upchurch tries to get the first down yardage, and that's going to be awfully close. 
Pins on the spot, I believe, while holding the Hilltoppers to just 153. Give up church inside the five and not much beyond there. Ball may have come loose at the end of the play. I believe it did, and now they'll scramble. And see, he comes out of the pile with it. And the second turnover tonight by the Crimson Tide. Fumble recovered by the Hilltoppers, and they'll take over. Two plays, and he has to exit due to injury. But hopefully he'll be all right. It's not like he hadn't been hitting during the course of practice for the last month and a half. Marquise Mays, a chance to return one. Makes two guys miss. With the third and fourth, we're able to corral him and bring him down. Anytime you bring talent in, though, it pushes the, the, the upper classmen to get better as well. Competition. Dial with the grab, his first of the year. McElroy completes another one. McElroy, three of five passing for 53 yards so far. As they go on the handoff, Upchurch, first down yardage and more. Keeps his feet inside the 30 and down to about the 27. Also glad to see him get some more carries after the fumble inside the 10. Demetrius Good in the ball game. He'll get his first carry as he hurdles the pile and gets to the 20-yard line. It'll be third and short from there. Dara, on fourth of the yard, he gives to Good, nearing the first down mark, and he got there to the 15. Another Mobile native, as the give to Good, he'll change direction, get inside the 10, and he'll have another third and short upcoming, as they'll spot the ball near the 8-yard line. 554 yards in total offense tonight is good. Bounces it outside, kept his feet, got the first down, and that should do it. Yep. Play clock is dark. Game clock is at 17 seconds. And I don't think they'll even break huddle. Tyler, what an effort from Alabama tonight. Great job. Came back. They, they, they had good focus throughout the course of the game. Did things that they needed to and improve upon last week's performance. Defense really started off, though, very impressed with them. Even though Bama scored just 10 points in the second half, I thought they were as dominant in the second half as they were in the first. They were. They could have scored another 30 points, but they called the first teamers out, put them on the sideline, give them, give them the second teamers. The, we don't have depth charts here, but give the other guys some opportunities to get in there and get some experience.